Welcome back to the Easter special of Candy Unwrapped. Here's a sweet fact. Chocolate has been around for more than a thousand years. The Mayans and the Aztecs were the first to discover and enjoy this treat. Speaking of chocolate, how about making a candy bar at home? We discovered a guy whose passion is figuring out what's inside a candy bar, then tweaking the recipe until he thinks it tastes like the original. Kind of a homegrown candy clone. When I look at this candy, I see a snack. When Todd Wilbur looks at this candy, he sees a quest. Todd Wilbur is a candy detective extraordinaire. I first started cloning food about 10 years ago. I thought I was on to something and uh, just started doing more and more recipes. Today, he's hoping to unwrap the secrets inside a baby Ruth. Armed with only his trusty knife, the potentially dangerous investigation begins. This is where a lot of the uh, kitchen accidents happen. Cloning food is a very dangerous job. Todd spends hours examining America's favorite foods, deciphering the recipes so he can clone a version of his own. Todd has mastered the Snickers. He's ready to give baby Ruth a try. This is going to be the secret part right here, this middle. What's in there? He starts with a bite, a taste of the nougat. It's a little oily. Vanilla, definitely salty too. Todd's experience tells him to test for taste and texture. It's very chewy, but it's not, uh, it's not too hard. So I want to heat it up too much or it'll, it'll make it uh, too tough. Then we can give it a try with these ingredients and it should be pretty close. When I first started making these recipes, I didn't really know so much about cooking. I learned a lot of it from uh, watching cooking shows, uh, you know, just learning by doing, basically. Todd's years of training have taught him to keep his pantry fully stocked. Vanilla, corn syrup, and powder. Time to clone a baby roof. We're going to crank it up. First, five caramels. Important part of this recipe is to be sure that the caramels are unwrapped. Don't put them in wrapped. It just ruins the taste. Joining the caramels is the perfect combination of milk, corn syrup, salt, butter, and the all-important vanilla. Quarter teaspoon. Then melt it to ooey, gooey perfection. It's about 10 minutes. This will be uh, nice and bubbly. Have a nice smooth consistency. And we'll pop a thermometer in there. Bring it up to about 230 degrees. I've tried 250 degrees, 270 degrees, 280 degrees. All those are wrong. The candy's too hard. It took a long time to figure out and bring it to kind of a lower temperature, 230 degrees before it's just right. So we do jumping jacks when we wait. This is how we, you know, prevent from getting fat while we eat candy. That right there is the inside of the baby roof. But Todd well knows the inside should be light and fluffy. Get out the mixer. It's time to beat it up. So let's try this at home. You might want to get some uh, safety goggles for this. Clear off your workspace. Todd's ready for some log rolling. And there we go. We'll just let them sit for a couple of hours until they're cool. Then we'll be ready to put the peanuts and caramel on them. Peanuts, anyone? Now we just take some of the caramel using a brush and just kind of coat it over the middle. Burning your fingers is all part of the fun. This is the center of a clone baby Ruth. There we go. The centers are ready for a break. Two hours in the refrigerator. Then it's chocolate time. Todd's chocolate of choice, your standard milk chocolate chips. We'll melt these in the microwave. He's preparing for the final step. Todd believes there is a secret to the chocolate. Perfect his special dipping technique. This two fork method that I like to think I invented. You know, tap, 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 tap. There it is. Baby Ruth clone. Not as pretty as the original, but a taste tester swears it tastes just as good. How's that? That's exactly it. Now we want to know, what's your favorite Easter candy?